Steele. I am the Executive Director of the Cultural Arts Alliance. We are the local arts agency for Walton County, and our mission is to advance the arts through leadership, advocacy, funding, programs, and education. My name is Andy McAlexander, and I am the President of the South Walton Art Official Reef Association. Our mission is to create living reefs for generations, and through our activities in permitting artificial reef locations in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Walton County. We are proud to partner with the Cultural Arts Alliance to create the nation's first underwater museum of art. Get down to the basics when you're thinking of your sculpture. Your biggest thing you have to worry about is the size parameters, the weight of your piece, and getting it here on the correct delivery time. If you can do all of those things, you're golden. So the Underwater Museum of Art is located nine-tenths of a mile south of Brayton Beach State Park in around 58 feet of water. Our engineers will take your piece, calculate the dimensions and the size and the weight that the base is going to require to keep your structure upright on the floor of the Gulf of Mexico. Let's talk about specifications. The weight limit is 6,000 pounds. We have to load it and drive it to the deployment vessel don't worry about creating your own base. That's our job and our responsibility and built into the cost that we're incurring. Your job should be to design and deliver the piece that's been selected. We'll take care to make sure it gets to the bottom of the gulf and stays upright. Please remember that people aren't walking into a gallery to see your sculpture. They're diving down and swimming around it and sometimes even swimming through them. So please keep that in mind when designing. The permits are issued by the state and federal government, and those are very specific as to the materials that can be used to create these artificial reefs. Natural stuff, concrete, stones, metals, those things are all good. Plastics, paint, corrosive materials, those things are bad. Can't deploy them under any circumstances. In addition, we must have a turtle escape. If a turtle can get into a structure, it has to be able to get out. No exceptions whatsoever. Our Gulf waters typically yield great visibility. So creating a sculpture that has great relief and creates habitat for other marine life always enhances the dive. We invite you to apply now for consideration in the 2020 Underwater Museum of Art deployment. And all of the information and application can be found on the website, umafl.org. And you can contact us with any questions you might have.